Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the circulation pump on your washer. This style of washer uses a circulation pump to keep the detergent into your wash water. It's a really easy job to change. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, there are two accepted methods. Because the pump is located on the bottom of the tub, we will need access to the bottom of that tub. So we can either lay the washer over on its right side, we'll need to secure the lid so that it doesn't pop open, or we can turn the washer around, remove the back panel, and then tilt it forward in a stable position and access it that way. Now that we have the power disconnected and our fill hose is disconnected, we'll next remove the back panel from the washer. Once we've removed all eight screws, just disengage that panel from the screen hose support, pull it out and then lift it away from the back, and we'll just set that aside. Now next we're going to tilt that washer forward, but it needs to be in a stable position, and typically the front of these washers has a slightly curved front panel on them, so you want to make sure that you have it supported so that it doesn't damage that panel. Now, once we've got that stable, we'll next remove the clamps that secure the hoses to that circulation pump. Now, with the washer tilted forward and stable, we're next going to remove these two clamps that secure hoses to that pump. So simply squeeze the clamps and slide them up onto the hoses. Maybe some water in this area, so we'll want something to catch that. Just pull the hose off, both the tub and the circulation tube. The next, we're going to remove the screws that secure that pump to the bottom of the tub. Once we've released that pump from the bottom of the tub, we'll pull the wire harness away. Then we'll want to just release that locking tab and pull the harness connector off of the old pump, and then we can discard that. Now the next thing we'll need to do is to transfer the clamp from the tub to pump hose off of the old pump onto the new one. Slide it off the old one, discard that pump, slide up onto the hose on the new pump. Now next we can reinstall the wire harness connector to that pump motor. Make sure it's fully inserted and that the locking tab is engaged. Now we'll line that pump up at the bottom of the tub. We'll start by installing the tub to pump hose end first. And then the, the circulating hose. Now we'll want to pivot that pump down into position. And then we'll put the new screws in to secure the pump mount first. Install them loosely to begin with to so we'll make sure we've got that shield lined up properly. And then tighten them securely. And then install the third screw at the back of the pump housing. Secure the wire harness, tuck it into that little clip on the side of the motor housing. And 
now we need to pull the clamps down into position. We'll make sure that we have those hoses lined up so that the full notch in those hoses line up with the tab on the pump. Now once everything's secure, we can stand the washer back up and then reinstall the back panel. So we'll begin by tucking the bottom of that panel in first and you note that there's a notch on both sides that needs to be engaged with that support bar across the back of the cabinet. Line those up first. And we'll also need to set that plastic clip on the notch on that left hand side. Then just line up the screw holes and install the screws. Now once we have that back panel secure, we can go ahead and push the washer back into position. We're now ready to reconnect the hoses and the power and our repair is complete.